Capricorn, so in this reading, we're going to take a deeper dive into a balance of your spirituality and practicality and how you're bringing them both together to, to a, accomplish what you set out to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. This is more of like an introspective, more from the introspective point of view. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed. I have another intuitive message. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Someone could, their mind, you know how you can be dead set and you're about to say something and then your mind just goes blank. Like I was about to say something and I just had a brain fart. Don't you love when that happens? Okay. This is talking about somebody's potential. Okay. Like the embryonic stages, like like the bud, the budding stages, the embryonic stages of anything. This is about potential. Someone seeing your potential, you're starting to crack, come more. You're starting to embody more potential, excite, and excitement, and hope. And then you you're starting to face your true north. You're starting to show up for what you're being called to create for. You're starting. Like your effort is not going unnoticed. You know how I know you know. You know how I know your effort is not going unnoticed because people are trying you. You know how it's it takes it takes 20 days, 21 days to make or break a habit. It takes an on viewer who's opposing. If you once had something in common with somebody, you start to outgrow them, they're going through that same transformation too, except You're moving in a different, at a different velocity, at a different speed than from them, if that makes any sense. And they're struggling with it because they want to pull you back down out of familiarity and uh, accustomed. I'm very accustomed to us being this way. But you are called to balance your spirituality and your practicality. So practicality would be what you have tangible and what you have spiritually. I feel like you're trying to go in a certain direction and or professionally and you fear a conflict in your spirit like your morals your ethics your beliefs that would be like a balance of your spirituality and your practicality and i know at this point everyone saw that cat williams interview and how he stood on morals like people who are in denial or just don't know what the hell is going on missed the point of what he was saying yeah, it's nice to be successful, but not with the price that it comes with being as successful as some of the people he named. And with the receipts, you know, he has a valid point. I did not want to sacrifice my morals, my ethics, and my beliefs. I did not want to be worth 50 M's at the expense of losing my virgin virginity sexually to another man. Respectfully. This is what I feel like you're kind of experiencing. It's like I, to branch out, it, it's like the more I try to branch out, it's conflict. Like five of swords energy. I have inner conflict. I'm met with internal challenges with myself because I don't want to sacrifice or compromise my spirituality to produce results, the right kind of results. And it almost feel like people do that. But when I shuffled these, these, you got the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. What does it mean exactly to, to obtain that? With the, and then I have the, the King of Cups here that flipped over, that wanted to flip over. But the King of Cups is mature, fair, pretty decent, could even be an attorney. You could be hiring someone to, to coach, you know, to assist you, to be in support of you. That's kind of what an attorney is, right? Like the family concierge. If you don't have anybody in your immediate family, if you don't have any men in your immediate family who can be of assistance to be in support of you. You don't want to be subservient to somebody else's toxicities. Okay? And the card in my self-love deck, you have look for fairies. And what I get from that next to the potential, the promise is about to happen. You're starting to see like signs that you may already feel like you have it, 
but now it's like you're met what's the challenge is with the balance and the spirituality so i write it's like the energy of blue obsidian you have the energy of blue obsidian that's expansive divination and astral traveling something about you is real cool to the core and it creates that natural volcanic glass that has the ability to expand one's natural talent Astral traveling and envisioning dreams are protected and safe when it comes to you. And I'm, I'm talking about enhancing psychic, psychic abilities and uncovering natural talents for the unknown. As it clears away that mental clutter and makes away the clear channeling. It makes a way for clear channeling and intuitive messages. So you you got this, this thing with God, this one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. But in my premonition, I saw the Emperor and the King of Swords. But right now, I just see the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. You love your relationship with God. Like, that's your best friend who saw you through all kinds of trials and tribulations. So, it almost you almost feel like you're betraying him. So, you almost, you want to talk to him with the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. You want to be fair. You want to be reasonable. You don't want to be a hypocrite. But you do You'd be lying if you said you didn't want to be successful. But you need to allow, you have to allow yourself to focus on one message at a time. A natural healer is what you are and that promotes circulation for your body and opens your aura to receive. You can have a, your Saturn could be an Aquarius. And it's a lot of communication here with the Ace of Swords. Because these, these crystals is, um blue obsidian and you got blue lace agate they both rule the throat chakra you know it caters to that about this is about peace this is about gentleness this is about new beginnings this is your supportive nudge capricorn in the right direction whispering words of encouragement when you experience self-doubt and it opens your throat chakra and helps ease any blockages in your self-expression i heard creative self-expression being seen and heard is a priority your feelings are valid and important too. Don't worry about what others will think. Release all fear of judgment and get ready to leave any thoughts of inadequacy behind. I don't feel like you fit, you care what people think. What I feel like, what it feels like to me is you don't feel like combating. Like you, you give me the impression you'll knock the shit out of somebody if they say the wrong thing about your religion. And how I know how I know that is because of what I said earlier. You already you already feel like you have something. It's about balancing your spirituality and practicality. It's about staying strong through it. It's also about okay, I'll give you an example. If you're a person who wears hijab, whether Christian or Muslim or Jewish, women wear modest clothes to hide their figure, their silhouette. You're a woman in business. You're an entrepreneur. You're just as good as being a woman, a leadership, in a leadership position as a woman in business as you are a leadership in your household. You manage your household. Like your household is anything short of structure by way of God. And you being a woman in business means you're in, you're in uh, show business a lot. Meaning you're in public, you're in hair and makeup. You might wear heels, a slightly higher heel. You might wear, if it could be pantsuits, it doesn't have to be anything derogatory, but it's not your hijab. And then you got, and you got, you're met with people who don't know how to be a leader. They know how to be a worker and they're challenging you and antagonizing you because you have something that they want. They're, they're like, you're met with a lot of jealousy. When I see release all fear of judgment and get ready to leave any thoughts of inadequacy behind. You're being encouraged to start anew because every day is a fresh beginning. But I feel like your Mercury could be in Gemini or Pisces. So you want to you want to take a step out on faith, but you're for well, you're being you're trying to be patient. Like you're waiting for the the nod, like you're, you're waiting for the nod, the intuitive nod to, for the most high to say yes, but you almost have a fear. There's a vulnerability. You almost have a fear that he may not want you to do that. 
but you want to do it. So you're trying to be genuine. You're trying to be honest. And it's like, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do and some. But I want to do some more of what I want to do without coming off as a hypocrite. Nine of Cups with flu out and the Page of Swords. Someone sees you as you know, abundant, emotional fulfillment. The Nine of Cups did, does represent arrogance in a negative in a negative uh, light. But I see mature energy because you have the King of Cups. And the Page of Swords is research. You want to be the, the resource. Some of you could be beauticians. Someone's a good colorist. Like cut and color, hair cut and color. Like someone would, does really good pixie cuts and color. Like I see someone like in this in this depiction, this, this illustration, this woman has, she looks professional. She has a button up shirt on. It's a blouse. It's a nice color. She has her hair cut and colored. She could have blue eyes. And you wear eyeglasses or a designer shades. Someone really looks nice a lot. And that's emotional fulfillment. Like it makes you feel good to walk out of your house that way. You want to be someone wants to be recognized on a more professional, on a higher platform professionally. Like you could be well known spiritually. You want to balance it out practically. But obviously, you want to take your religion or your, your morals, ethics, and beliefs with you. And I feel like you're taking, I feel like you're taking the Cat Williams approach and, and doing it. Let me be the first to say I'm very proud of you, Capricorn, for standing up for yourself, like for what you believe. I don't expect anything short of people when you stand, when you believe in something and you're passionate about something, you stand for it. But what the premonition is like, why is the screen black? Today, if you look at the, the bloggers, like, for example, the, the beauty uh, moguls, like the Makeup by Shayla, she has a YouTube platform. Jackie Ina has a, a, a YouTube platform where they specialize in couturing and makeup. And they're influencers. Now, it doesn't have to be makeup for you, but it could be something in the beauty department because I'm looking at the page of source. This particular deck shows a woman dressed professionally and her hair, everything is, is to the T. Hold on, I'll show you. You see what I'm saying? Somebody who's well put together. Her makeup, hair, everything. She looks nice. So I see you in introspection as you sit and do your makeup. You're just as good as those girls. You may not be on a big as big of a platform, but you're on a rise to recognition for something positive. The six of cups. People have nostalgia about you with the three of cups on the bottom. It's the overall energy now. Six of cups. King of pentacles. I feel like you took a path. You walk down a certain path that leads to more practical abundance as well as spiritual abundance. Now, the king of pentacles is healthy. There's a balance, though, between your emotions and your practicality. So that would be your spirituality and practicality. And you have two kings here. So that is you taking accountability in both. I see that. Like your energy is very strong. Like you're, you're emotionally intelligent and practically intelligent. And with the Page of Swords, people are watching you. And you realize that you now that you, you're starting to see that you have the attention of the people, the appearance needs to be right. You want the appearance to look a certain way. Someone could want a late night talk show. Or someone could want a platform, period. You know, that kind of requires you to look a certain way. At least for now. Or it could be a controversial thing where you can go. It's hard to go with your hijab without the backlash of, of it falling on other people who dress in hijab, for example. Of any religious group. 
What is hijab? That's a garment. It represents modesty and shyness. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Four of Cups. I feel like you feel like you would have made it a lot further by now. I feel like you cursed politics with this because you got three, four, six, and then nine and ten cups. There's a lot of cups here. Well, the Ace of Swords is here. Like three of cups is networking, nine of cups is, is happiness, emotional fulfillment, six of cups is reminiscence and nostalgia, and this is going back to a child. This is a childhood dream. You're trying to fulfill something. I feel like you could be doing shadow work or trying to do like therapeutic work. And with the ace of swords, you have the mental clarity that you could be acting a certain way or going through certain changes on account of wanting to to be an achiever ace of pentacles is here flipped over ace of cups is here that flipped over seven of cups is now here you got every cup queen of wands and the emperor somebody's no match for you the emperor operating out of the queen of wands you're destined for greatness and that's not patronism like you're, you're destined for greatness because your energy, like your soul, like you're almost manifesting it with just your thoughts, with just your spirituality by itself. Like just you practicing religion, for example, is bringing it into fruition. It's not like, it's like whatever you want to do, do it with integrity. That's what it looks like. You have options. You have a way, like you can go that way with it or this way. I feel like you're met with options that don't quite suit your authenticity. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. You know what? Use a different deck. Use a different deck. Okay. Blue Topaz. Energy. And it's also inspired by the sun, but this is more about communication. Okay? This is about drawing strength. Generosity. Radi radiating warmth. Ener solar energy. How can you be successful? When, you always want to have energy vampires. That's what I feel like it is too. And vitality to those who seek it. It's like with, a, with an impact as huge as the limitless sky. Power is potent. Magnifying your psychic abilities and inner peace. You know, it's um something about having the affirmations and the visualization with the conjunction of God's support as it amplifies your intentions as you envision your future it stimulates creativity and a thirst for knowledge you always on a quest you could be you remind me of the Sagittarius um, era with the readings I did for Sagittarius they left off on that or they on a quest for a spiritual journey they left off of something to pursue a spiritual journey to pursue um, inner now inner union spiritual inner union Something like that. Granting the ability to express emotions. Because there's a lot of cups here. So the thirst for knowledge and granting it the ability to express emotions and thoughts in a clear, profound way. So you're making progress about something. All right. The four of cups is like boredom, apathy, disappointment. And that's talking about self-love replenish and cherish this is um you want to you're vibrating with love to be honest capricorn and it's allowing you to shed layers of negative thought patterns and beliefs as you connect to the essence of your true self in my premonition just now you could have been off the market by way of proposal someone proposed marriage to you and it was a big deal it could have been somebody who is a big deal as well as you are somebody with a big deal who is a big deal and it's like all of City Hall, all the, the politics, the mayor, everybody who's a somebody would have been there. And you're not emotionally connected to it. Because you want to choose yourself. But this was almost an option to have you go in a direction where it would have been conducive for your career. It would have given you a broader platform for your career. And it's like, this does not feel authentic to me. I want to do the footwork without the back of a man, the backing of the, the power, the political power. 
you know, but this is a belief that you connect to the essence of your true self and you embrace new spiritual practice as a way of life. Someone could have thought you practice, you like dibble into darker, darker arts. That's not true, though. Preventing you from picking up bad habits to begin with. So your, your newfound spiritual practice as a way of life is preventing you from picking up bad habits to begin with. You could have been not religious before, and now you are. And you're making a lot of choices out of self-love and honoring the highest version of yourself. And you trust that you'll make decisions for your highest good. And it's, it's like you're it's a natural form of um, basically you know how to cleanse toxins from your aura and replenish your energy field. So that's the four of cups. It's like be dissatisfied with anybody trying to kiss and tell with you. No, thank you. You could have been set up by somebody who you're supposed to be like committed to or somebody who's supposed to be committed to you and they wanted to steal your ideas. And that's propelling you more to go on your own. You got three aces here, though. Every, every ace is here except the ace of wands. What is the seven of cups? So those are options, but it's also illusions. You don't want to be under like ungrounded in your emotions I feel like this could have been psychic attacks grounding this is about grounding protection and serenity it's like getting straight to the heart of the matter dispelling any negativity around the core wounds especially issues carried over from past lives it's like you're being shielded from alien invasion Basically, any fucking weirdo or anybody who wants to be possessive or treat you like a possession and unwanted attachments. And it removes illusions so you can see reality for what it is without any judgment. Someone wanted to block your, your third eye, your intuition with the Seven of Cups. Someone was trying to feed you something that wasn't true. And that's really where the serenity and peace lies when we're able to, to detach from external views. You're called to ground yourself with love and trust that you're always protected. All right, three of cups. Okay. This is giving me justice, strength, and stability. And it works closely with your base chakra. And you're healing any wounds surrounding any injustices grounding, and it grounds you back to earth. Like you're being called to not run away with the circus. With the Three of Cups, that's a networking card. And you're um, you're dispelling chronic worry, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. But you're working on your base chakra, and it can also heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in more healthy ways, providing that stability and protection. Balancing yin and yang energy, expressing that masculine and that feminine energy that feels safe and yet nourished. You don't want to be with someone who is just, someone was overly dependent on you and clingy. And with the nine of cups, you have unity and vitality, like a, a successful love. You spend, you're manifesting loyalty. Like you're stimulating through like loyalty, partnership, friendship. And this is about your heart chakra. So healing the auric field with that unconditional love, hope and joy with exuberance and a lust for life. The, this is about new beginnings. A lot of this is, is about new beginnings and a fresh step in life. And it's radiating that health and prosperity and vitality. Grow in the direction of your dreams and nurture yourself along the way. You deserve the riches that life has to offer you. Someone really wanted to be, be controlling. It's like really getting on my nerves. Like these are opportunities for mental clarity. Like your third eye chakra, your base chakra, your heart chakra, throat chakra, sacral chakra. I didn't do one for the ten of cups. This is the last one. Don't 
forget to like, share, and subscribe. So this started off with your throat chakra, though. This majority of this reading is about your voice. Go out there and make a difference. See? Yeah, this is leaning to your voice. It's emotional fulfillment. It's about empathy, compassion, and communication. And communication is key. You will definitely send a message, um, Capricorn, as um, you're activating your throat, your third eye, and your heart chakra, allowing you to communicate from a whole and centered place that instills hope and inspiration. And then you're enhancing your ability to empathize and show compassion for others, fostering authentic connections. You know, and communication skills are very important to carry across when you're communicating in through, you know, through via spiritual realm, which would be like talking to God and cultivating a calm and relaxed space for even more clarity to come through. Capricorn, so much of this is really you just taking your power back and saying, screw it. But this could happen of whenever the next full moon in Pisces is. And wait a minute, how did I get here? Unattainable Shiva. That's what this gives me. Unattainable Shiva is an energy that you have stepped. It's like you, you're. How do I explain this? Unattainable Shiva is somebody who's like a yogis. Okay. And that's somebody who like who you're somebody who fast in the mountains, basically. To practice yoga. For clarity. And people thought like you people might think you're going mad. People might think that it's like this person is like having a whole breakdown. But when you when you see the card of Shiva, this is a leader of destruction and rebirth. Okay? And this is about the first yogis ever. He attained a lot of enlightenment and abandoned himself in the a static dance atop the Himalayas. What the hell does that mean? People couldn't understand his switch between the ecstatic movement and stillness and thought, you know, he was tripping. But seven students wanted to learn how he was moving past limitations. So someone could be studying you, someone could be interviewing you. And this is how he began teaching yoga. So something that you and you've been spending time practicing, I say like the past 10 months, at least the past 10 months to 10 years. Okay. It could be 10 weeks, but I think it's a little longer than that. 10 months going into 10 years, the past decade. And now you got people wanting to study you, you know, to learn how to move, how you move past physical limitations. Again, with balancing spirituality and practicality. And this is you planted the seed. Somebody like Shiva planted the seed of yoga into the human mind. So you're representing moving past limitations from your society, your body, your mind, and your ego, and or your ego. And it represents doing the inner work to evolve. It is also a call to service to teach others your wisdom so they too can become liberated. You can already make a killing with the Ace of Pentacles, doing something you love with the Ace of Cups. And the ace of clarity, the ace of clarity, the ace of swords is mental clarity. It's like I figured it out. This is introspection. So, like I said, going back to it, the reason why the screen is so black is because you're at your your desk or your your dresser and you're doing your makeup, like so, like the influencers I explained, and you're in introspection. You're away from everybody. You're not taking calls. You're not hanging out. You're not even swapping advice with people you're not asking you're not receiving you're doing this on your own humanely speaking it's just like you and god like you're trying to reach an unattainable level you've been you you could have been this way for a while okay with the emperor and the queen of wands okay but you also operate out of the king of pentacles and king of cups It's about love, balance, and clarity. And it's about relationships are all the currencies of life. Okay? And it's awareness of soul agreements and your impact on other people's life. That's so important. Okay? And you're creating a divine connection between you and your higher self. And it teaches you to enjoy the sweetness of life. 
Remembering good things often take time to ripen. That's why I think this is going back 10 years. And it's a yin-yang energy. You know, you're balancing yourself and you're connecting. Your masculine energy. You've always been somebody who took action. So you could be a leader of your household, but now you're starting to be more receptive with the Queen of Wands. Like, you are something to look at. But you're something to, you're quite the experience more than you're something to look at. Like, it's not enough that you're drop dead gorgeous or drop dead handsome. It's really just, you're in that receptive energy. You're open to learn. Connecting to your heart chakra, to both the physical and spiritual aspects of yourself, is to pull all this together. You're mastering the physical and spiritual aspects of yourself. By balancing your spiritual and practical practicality. Balance, balance the spirituality and practicality because we have both. And your, your heart chakra is open. And you have a lot of clarity. Cleansing and protection. That's what this is about. And you're cleansing, you're protecting your aura. Somebody's moving into a different city. You're leaving everybody behind. I feel like your career, it's not the career that's changing it's more so evolving as you evolve i think it's entrepreneurial though like you can't work for somebody like this this is somebody who takes the leadership position and it's going to you have seven students under you so it can resonate in a way where it has that you have seven employees under you you eventually will you got people working under you you're teaching somebody something so that is an entrepreneur that's what i have for you capricorn don't forget to like like lock share and subscribe lock it in lock the information in like share and subscribe until next time